What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing Florence in EU4. In the last episode, we declared war on Siena, stole a province from them. In the middle of that war, got declared war on by Milan, beat their butt in so far. I mean, they have raised an army back up, but I think we're going to be able to take um, a fair bit off of Milan here in this war. I do have a bunch of diplomats free, so let's go ahead and build up a spy network here. And... Send the other dude out to deal with outraged countries, I think, would be the best. Even though I, no one may be outraged with me at the moment, but I feel like here in a little bit some people might be. Or at least that's the plan. What is... Milan's manpower situation is actually quite good, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and say friendlies can attach again. I have to go bail out Genoa here in a second. Missionary funding. One of the strengths of the Catholic Church was its missionary drive. There were always new frontiers for missionaries to explore and convert in Europe. Later, the discovery of pagans in the New World led strains, led new strains of heresy at home and demanded a response from the church. At times, the Pope called for a tithe from Catholic princes to help pay for this missionary work. Pay the tithe, seven ducats for ten papal uh, state opinion and one prestige. Make the peasants pay for a bunch of unrest or refuse to pay. Um, we'll pay it. Sure. Why not? Yeah, definitely give them some money. Um, then demand support in terms of manpower. Up here. Oh, looks like we're gonna fight. Hey, Genoa, you wanna come help with this? Um, keep the dude. Yeah, go ahead and keep him. Let me see what all I can take from Milan. What cost me no dip? All right, that is too much already. Um, I actually kind of like this because it takes away two of their little dudes. Nobody would hate me. One of them, only one of them is in the Holy Roman Empire. Doesn't weaken Milan itself, but it does weaken their power base and makes me stronger. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, this would be too much. That would be a huge coalition. Okay, can't do that. What if we did this instead? It's only a three-person coalition. Go ahead and 
and start coring that. Yeah, Mantua is quite nice. Also, this province is quite nice. Amelia. It's the balance of power here. We still have a ton more troops than they do. Catholic faith grows. Florence is opinion of England. England's back to being Catholic. Way to go, England. You have a lot of uh, you have a lot of uh, wrong provinces, but at least you're officially Catholic. Siege of Mantua is over. Let's go try to siege down their capital. Estate war contributions. Gift to the state. Put that in the treasury as well. Case comes before papal court. Uh, when peasants need forgiveness of sin, they went to the pa parish priest. When rulers needed forgiveness, they needed to ask someone with greater authority than themselves. Rulers who needed permission to annul a failed mal marriage, mailage, uh, forgiveness for using torture or other sins against God could turn to the one man in Christendom with the authority to forgive them, the Pope. Dispensation was often granted to rulers who showed repentance, but sometimes pressure was put on the Pope. Stay removed from the situation, gain one prestige. Um, write a missive encouraging leniency. Or write a mission encouraging stringency. Let's encourage leniency on England. Have them being a nice counterbalance to France, who may get interests on the Italian on Italy here in the future. There is the Milanese army. Uh, the Pisa speech. And thus it must be. He looks out across the crowd assembled in the grand lecture hall at Pisa University that we come to the age of our country now in its time of need, as it has always come to ours in our time of need. The pen is mightier than the sword, they say. I do not know if that is the case, but if it is, then Florence need not fear. Long live Gonfalarni Giuano Sederin. Long live Florence. Jubilant are the cheers when the students, as one man, march off to join the army. March this flower of youth off to war? Or war is no excuse to drop out of school? Give me that 150 manpower. They're going to beat me on this siege. Let's finish that off. That's fine. We're about to get their capital. Well, about to, quote unquote. Jeez, got a lot of loot. Uh, Aquitaine is back to being Catholic. Twenty-one percent. As soon as this this siege is over, we should be able to take whatever we want, really.
There we go. You still don't want to give this to me, huh? Let's go take out your army. That was 10 war score. Case comes before Papal Court. Uh, Aquitaine. Let's write a missive encouraging leniency there as well. Okay, now they would give me what I want. How much ducats would you give me? 59? 68, even? And it's three dudes who are going to be all at exactly 50. Tenth, the treasury. Stability improves. Outraged countries, please. Come back from here. Come back from here. Then two to outraged countries. And one to threatening countries. Still six years ahead on that. And I should have enough of uh, admin to do that when the time comes. Let's lower army maintenance down to about there. And mothball the fort. Fantastic. And let's go. The state soldiers return. Uh, they're displeased because their troops never even got created. Which is kind of a bullcrap bull crap way to do that. And we'll see if my Italian power rank goes up to... It's like dominant and domineering or something like that. I can't remember. We have gained a fair bit of light land. Unhappy population. Not great. Sweet, finishing all those, doing all those cores. Now, if I could just uh, turn all these into actual states, it would be wonderful. But uh, an alliance offer from Venice. Hmm. I don't know if I want you. Who is rivaled to Milan? Naples. See, I'd rather have Naples. I can still have four more. Well, there you go. But getting Naples on my side is great. Ooh, and they took a lot of land off Hungary, too. Um, you're allied to Castile and Aragon still. You're rivaled to Siena, Venice, and, and myself. Well, Venice and myself both rival you, I guess. It's a more accurate way of putting it. Also, I'm making a hot few ducats right now. When can I offer you favors again? It's going to be a little while. Actually, no. Come back from come back from there. Send you to allies for now. Let's make them happy. Most deaf. No longer claim Perugia, that's fine. I 
I wouldn't have minded breaking up Verona and Milan, but I think getting the ducats was probably a little bit better. Maybe not, though, considering how much I'm making right now. Death of the Pope! Click that button as many times as I can. It doesn't look like they're allied to Naples anymore. They are not. So as soon as this truce is up, I can declare war on them. Habeas Papum. Um, Pope can be manipulated by us, or the Pope is acceptable to us. He can be manipulated. Uh, deadlocked Conclave, but I think that just uh, fixed. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm the Pope. Um, appointing new cardinals. Power of Florence. We're now a dominant Italian power. Okay. So we'll need to see what dominant means. The Papal State has rivaled us. Where is it? Just more aggressive expansion impact, but raised it's like more higher morale of armies, higher yearly prestige, more aggressive expansion. That's fine. We can handle that. Our expansion in Italy is not welcome. As Florence is gaining large influence in Italy, neighbors are regarding France as Florence is dangerous. Uh, a lot of people don't like me, and Marca Grisena gets unlawful territory for a while. The case comes before papal court. The papal state itself. Um, right of misinterest incurring stringency. Uh, more unwelcome expansion. Masa gets unla unlawful territory. So people don't like me as much, is what you're saying. Mantua gets unlawful territory. Amelia gets unlawful territory. Listen, I'm sorry, guys. Um, point all war worthy candidates. Where is coalitions? Forty four, thirty three, forty seven, forty four. I mean, people are mad, but they're not. Torches and pitchforks mad yet. I probably do need to chill on the expansion for a little while, but thankfully, I really don't have the means of expansion at the moment. Education level has changed. It went down. That's fine. I was already planning on that happening. Still can't offer favors for another 32 months. And five years ahead on this text still. Provinces in turmoil expired. That's nice. Naples took a big bite out of the Balkans over here.
So we're a dominant Italian power, huh? Who are you improving with? Allies. Is Genoa perfectly happy with us? Well, as much as they can be. More people to outraged countries. Just get them, get them all sent around. How much money am I making? Four ducats? I'm getting close to being able to build some stuff. Like I could build workshops or marketplaces in places. If there are any places where I can build those places. Okay, I can't build this anywhere. I would like some more of these. Wish I could see the population here. Can't build workshops anywhere. Could build marketplaces in a few places. No mining complexes. I could build warehouses. Why is this one so expensive? Well, I think we're going to call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. I mean, it's been like 12 episodes. We finally got to conquer more territory. How happy are you for me? I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy. But anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.